Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there's an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Grade threes and welcome to my zone online school. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is safety for cyclists, plant and growth. And before we get into any lessons, boys and girls, we know that we need to sanitize. So let's take our sanitizer and make sure that we cover our hands completely. Don't forget to sanitize in between your fingers and on your fingertips as well. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we'll be doing rounding off to the nearest 10, reading comprehension and problem solving. To start our lesson, boys and girls, let us all turn to page 22. On page 22, we are going to be doing problem solving sums. Now remember, problem solving sums are problems that we have to solve by either adding, subtracting, multiplying or sharing. We are going to do number two together. Remember, it's important for us to read it two times. It says, Dad took 279 bags of maize to the market. He still has 113 bags left. How many bags of maize did he sell? Let's read it again. Dad took 279 bags of maize to the market. He still has 113 bags left. How many bags of maize did he sell? So, now that we have read our problem twice, it's now time for us to take out the important information and then decide whether we are going to add, subtract, multiply or share. Let's take a look at the board. Now the important information that we have taken out are the numbers. The first number that we have taken out is 279 bags. So we know that the bags of maize, they add up to 279. But he came back with, or the bags that were left were 113. So it's going to be our job to find out how many bags were sold. Then we can complete our sentence our answer sentence, which says, he sold dash bags. Now in this case, are we going to add, subtract, multiply or share? Well, if you said we are going to subtract, good job. So we're gonna take the first number and say 279, take away, 113. Then we are going to write our answer. So we start by saying 9 minus 3. Now to add or subtract, you can always use your counters, you can use your fingers, you can use the number line. 
But the answer will always be the same. 9 minus 3 will give us 6. Then we move to the next one, which says 7 take away 1. And that one is very easy. 7 take away 1 will give us 6. Then the last one will say 2 take away 1. And that one, my boys and girls, is very easy. We are left with 1. So we now know our answer. 279 take away 113 will give us 166. So that means, boys and girls, that he sold 166 bags of maize. So take your time when you're doing problem solving sums, boys and girls. And just to check if you got the correct answer, please read the sum a third time. Have fun and I'll see you when you're done after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. For the next part of our lesson, boys and girls, let us all go to page 23. On page 23, we are going to be doing a crossword puzzle. Now, as you can see, we have our words in the word box and we also have our clues. But today we have a memory verse as well to help us with our work. Our memory verse is coming from Luke chapter 17, verse 6. It is all about a mustard seed faith. It says, He replied, If you have faith, as small as a mustard seed, you can say to the mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it will obey you. So this is our memory verse that will help us. Let's read the words in the word box. We have the words mustard, faith tree, increase, seed, see, obey, and apostles. So we're going to use number one and number two just as an example of how you're supposed to do your crossword. Let's read what number one says as the clue for a cross. It says, belief in the truth value or trustworthiness of a person or idea. One of the words in our word box will help us fill in the correct spot. Let's take a look at the board. Now I have chosen three words to work with. We have the words faith, tree and obey. When you're dealing with someone's trustworthiness, we are talking about Faith! Well done! So go ahead and take your pencil or your color or your pen and fill in the word faith. Remember, each letter has its own box. But sometimes letters can share for words. There we go. So we have our word faith and we're going to cross it out from the word box so that we don't try and use it again. Let's now take a look at what number two is asking us to do, this time going down. Number two says, uh, it is talking about, well, a plant that grows and has branches. So we're going to be using one of the words. Do we have obey or tree? Yes, a plant that has branches and leaves is definitely a tree. Now we're going to write it going down and this time we will start with our R since our T is already there. So we continue with the word by writing our R and our two E's. Well done. 
Now we cross it out from the word box below. So take your time with this one, boys and girls. Read each clue out loud and make sure that as you are doing it, you are listening to yourself say the words out loud. Don't forget to cross out each word that you use. Then, when you're done with your crossword puzzle, it's time to move on to the next page, page 24. On page 24, we're going to continue with length. Now, the length we're going to be talking about here is centimeters. And it says, a ruler and, use a ruler and draw a straight line according to the length indicated on the left. So we have 12 centimeters, 17 centimeters, and 5 centimeters. After that, they are going to ask you to measure the following items. The pencil and the corn. So let's talk about length and let's take a look at the board to see how best we can practice length. Now, a centimeter ruler would not be easy for you to see what's happening. So I have a meter ruler, which I used for the board. It still has the same measurements, just like your ruler. We always start when we are making a line that we've been asked to do by putting the first point, point A. Now, point A is where you're going to put the beginning of your ruler. And then point B is where you're going to mark after you have measured the length you have been asked to. So, I'm going to do the same. And here, I've put it on point A. And once I measure 12 centimeters, I need to make sure that I stop where it's supposed to be and make a point B. So take your time with that one for each and every one of them. And don't forget to make the lines straight with your ruler. Then the next part, they've asked you to measure the items. One of them is a pencil. How are you going to measure your pencil? You're going to do the same thing. You're going to start by making a point A. So your point A is at the tip of the pencil. And then you are going to make a point B, which is at the back of the pencil, where the eraser is located. Then you are going to take your ruler and you're going to put the zero centimeter mark on point A and then in a straight line, put the rest of the ruler to the next spot, point B. Now in this case, our big pencil is telling me that it is 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 46 centimeters. So I can go ahead and write 46 centimeters. So go ahead, boys and girls, and have fun with your measurements. Remember, rulers are not toys. They are used for mathematics, English, and all the other subjects. Take your time, measure correctly, and don't forget to complete your crossword puzzle. I'll see you when you're done after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081-74-3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over 10 different languages. <music> For the last part of our exercise, boys and girls, we are going to go to page 25. On page 25, we are going to write how to plant a seed. It's going to be our job to write the steps that someone needs to take in order for them to plant a seed. Now, as you can see, the lines are not that long. So the steps must be 
very simple and also make sure that you do them in the correct order. Now I have gone ahead and written some of the steps so that you don't get confused. Let's take a look at the board. So we have the first step and the first step of course is to make a small hole in the soil. Now when we make a small hole in the soil it's because that's where we're going to place our seed. So our seeds should be well, uh, rather our soil should be very fertile, first of all, and then it also needs to make sure that it is going to accommodate our seed. Here I have different types of seeds. There is a sunflower seed and a pumpkin seed. So before you actually do anything, you need to make a nice little hole in the soil. Now it can be either in a container or in the ground. So that's the first step. Let's read it again together. Make a small hole in the soil. The next step that we're going to do is to place a seed deep inside the hole. Now this is very important to make sure that the seed is not sitting on the soil, but it is halfway. If it is a container, it should be halfway of the container. So when you put your seed, make sure that the hole is deep enough for it to have the seed halfway. If it is in the ground, make sure that the seed is also deep enough, at least one finger deep. So let's read our next step. It says, place a seed deep inside the hole. That's because if it rains, we don't want our seeds to be washed away with the soil. Now, the next part, or then, what we do is cover the seed with the soil. So after making the hole and placing our seed, it's now time to cover our seed with the soil. This is very important because if you leave a seed just lying there, birds can go and eat it and even other insects as well. So we protect the seed and we make sure it has the best chances to grow by making sure we have covered it. Let's read our sentence again. Cover the seed with the soil. Now, when you're done covering your seed, remember we want the best condition for it to grow. So apart from the good soil and the sunlight and the air, it's very important for us to give it water. So here it says, pour enough water onto the seed. Now the reason why we say enough water, it's because we do not want to drown the seed with too much water. So make sure that every time you water a seed or a plant, you do not give it too much water. Now, these steps help us to plant a seed. I want you to try and write these steps and then also try and plant a seed by yourself. Remember, you can plant it in a container or right in the ground. And there are many different types of seeds that you can use. Then water it just enough for it to start growing, as you can see in our pictures. Have fun with this, boys and girls, and let me know if your seed grew. I'll see you when you're done after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have now come to the end of our lesson, boys and girls, and I hope you had fun. I know I did. So make sure that you try and finish all your work by yourself. But if you have a hard time, that's okay. You can always ask for help. Now that we are done with our lesson, let us sanitize. 
Remember, sanitizing is very important because when we keep our hands clean, we are staying safe from any germs, especially coronavirus. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. I wonder though, I'm looking for Sashi. I haven't seen him the whole day. Sashi, where are you? Oh, <laughs> there he is. Hello, Sashi. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. <laughs>